Hello everybody. So remember in last week's video, I talked about buying uh, a long telephoto zoom. Well, look what's arrived. This is the Sigma 100 to 400. And the reason I've bought it is to take shots like this. So this is Flatford and we're looking out to Dedham. And this is a shot that I've had my eye on for a while. Conditions weren't perfect today, but something I certainly want to try out because as I'll explain soon, I'm off on a trip. But it's given me a new problem. How do I carry it and all my other gear? Let me show you. Wow, because I've got my wellies on. I was going to say to you, I've had an awful lot of water around these parts lately, but I think that's self-evident. I've never ever seen flatfed like this, never. Um, the stour is obviously so full that it's burst its banks and this has become a lake. Unbelievable, the geese are having a great time <laughs> swimming about here. And I wanted to get over there to shoot a picture of the church, which I might still be able to do. I've got my wellies on, but this look, incredible. So welcome to a very watery Flatford. Um, unbelievable, the amount of rain we've had in this part of the world in Essex has been just unreal. The golf course has been shut for months, um, but I didn't realize it, that the stour was quite this flooded until I came here this morning. But there we go. Um, if you're watching this on release date, uh, which is Sunday, I will be in Whitby with Gary. I'm up there for four days photographing um, the lovely north coast of Yorkshire. So I'm really looking forward to got an epic uh, shoot at Saltwick Bay planned for the Tuesday because on the Tuesday, low tide and sunrise are exactly the same time. You need to have a low tide to get to the Admiral Von Trump, but more of that to come. Um, for now, I'm just going to try and out this lens really. I'm just getting myself um, organised, ready for my trip to make sure everything's working because I've not used this lens before. It's a Sigma 100 to 400. It's not the Nikon. A Z uh, lens which I'd like to have but it saved me a load of money to buy this just for having it in my bag which gave me another problem because the bag that I've got on I can get the lens in but then something else is going to have to give and I'm going to have to leave the drone either in a separate box separate case or not bring it so I bought a new bag which I'll show you in a second to accommodate it all and talk you around it but for now let's have a quick look at this I'm going to try and shoot the church at Dedham which I've wanted to do for many many years and it's always been a little bit too far out of reach even with a 200 mil but with 100 to 400 mil it's about perfect. I'm also planning at some point to photograph some birds. I've got a hide which I've been building in my back garden. Um, I'm hoping to get some some birds attracted to the feeders that I'm starting to put out so that's going to be exciting. I know it's not landscape photography but um, it'll be an interesting vlog to show you at some point and it'll keep me amused. But also, a third reason I've got this lens is because in a couple of weeks after this, I'm going to Scotland, up to Roy Bridge again, up to through Glencoe, and a long lens with mountain ranges in the background is almost a must. So I, th I thought I'd pull the trigger, as they say, buy the lens, bite the bullet, uh, which has made me buy another bag. So let me just shoot some pictures here, and then we'll go back to my home, and I will talk you through my camera bag and what I'm packing to go to Yorkshire. Okay, so we've got the lens on 300 mil. Pretty good. Photographing the 
church at Dedham there, which is quite a way away. And ideal conditions for this would be kind of mist, I guess. And you can just see the, the church through, but we're at sunrise, so I've come here early, and the sky above it is looking really nice. There's some kind of pink clouds behind it, so it might work. Um, I'm gonna, let me just show you through the camera. We've got the church on the right hand third uh, and the water that's not normally here, I thought I'd include because actually that's quite unusual, makes a difference, um, a bit different to the norm. And I'm just gonna wait now for a bit of sunrise sky to appear, which will be a little bit of pink clouds behind it, which will be quite nice, I think. So um, let's shoot that now. So we can see we've got plenty of space on the histogram here, keeping the highlights well out of the way. But there's, look, there's no shadows burning out either. It's a really soft kind of scene. Um, we're looking at we're looking at a third of a second F11 ISO 64, which is about right for this. Um, and I'm just going to wait right now. We've just got the odd bird flying around the foreground. I quite like them they're probably going to be blurred but actually they're so far away that there might be a little bit of interest but when I got home and put these into Lightroom looking at them closely the church wasn't sharp at all I think there was a bit of movement from left to right and maybe one of the screws was undone but there's a lesson learned there I'm glad I've learned it now before I go to Yorkshire <laughs> So currently, this is my bag that I've been using. I've been used it for several years. It's really, really good, very impressive with it. It's a Timber 32 litre, I believe it is. Um, oh, and before we start, camera bag manufacturers, it'd be so helpful if you could put the litre ridge of your camera bags in the description somewhere, because it's something, otherwise just look at dimensions. I think litre ridge is such a brilliant way to do it. But this is my bag of choice, but obviously I've now got a problem because to take a drone and a lens and this lens is a bit of a problem because it's a bit of a beast. I mean, obviously there's more weight to it, but the actual size of it takes up the space that my drone normally takes up. So let me just show you quickly what we've got in this bag at the moment so you can get some kind of idea. Now, I've got the vlogging camera, which you're on at the moment. And at the moment, obviously this camera is not in here. Um, but if it was, this is what I would have. I currently carry, as well as loads of cloths, the 24-200 and the 14-30 to zoom lenses. So they definitely need to come with me. I've got my case filters. I've got my memory cards in case I run out a pouch with various batteries. This is one of the DJI Mavic 2 Pro batteries and I carry three of those and they're starting to go a little bit old, to get a bit old. So they certainly do need, um, I do need to carry all three of those. And also, there's another one. And also, the drone. After a little bit of research, I bought myself a new bag. Let's move that out of the way. Don't mind the stuff there. I bought, I haven't even opened it yet. I bought this F-stop Tilopa, Tilapa, Tilopa um, bag, which is a 50 litre bag, I believe. So let's open this up and you and I can be the first to see what it is. Yes, it's the red version. Now, F-stop um, are not a British manufacturer, but they have got a British, uh, um, distributor photo tools who I have to say have been brilliant having dealt with them. Um, this is not the brand new version. This there's one that's got a Duragard fabric, but it's an extra load of cash, um, which I didn't. I decided I didn't really need. I'm impressed that it. Ooh, I'm impressed that it comes in this lovely carry bag, which probably won't see the light of day again. But um, nonetheless, very good. So let's have a look at what we've got inside here. So we've got various straps 
um, which straps things in. We've got tripod. I think the tripod legs can go in, in there. That will be a useful thing. It's a very, very spacious bag from what I can make out. We've got various bits there which we can hook things to, carabiner them, maybe where a drinks bottle goes. There's a nice compartment. Oh, that opens really nicely up. So that is going to carry all my various video paraphernalia, I suspect. Um, what have we got up here? There's another little hood, which is really nice. And I'll show you this in a little bit more detail in a second. And the main compartment is in the back here and this comes with up. this comes with he says hoping it does uh, an insert which is where you put your camera equipment should be in here yes look at that brilliant so if i just tip that up to show you a rain cover and these bits here are going to carry the camera equipment so i'm thinking um z72 the 24 to 200 that's what i normally carry normally have attached to it most of the time We've got space here for the um 1430 and then we've got various vlogging camera can go in there the controller which also i've got in here for the drone can go in there um, and then hopefully what i'm hoping i can do is i can put the big telephoto here uh, and the drone in the top here. Um, that's my plan anyway. Um, it certainly hopefully won't lose it <laughs> being this color. What I'm gonna do now though, I'm gonna load this up and I'll show you how I've packed it. Okay, right, well this is packed up now. I think this is probably yeah, this is gonna stay for a little while. So at the back here, we've got my DJI mics. Uh, when I'm doing my vlogging, there's a battery in here um, for the drone. I like the fact we've got these elastic holders which stop things falling out. I've got another battery here. Again, I might decide to move this around because it seems a bit silly having one pouch for a battery. I might fit another one in there. The 16 to, sorry, the 14 to 30 is there with its case magnetic hood on it. And I like this cage on here. It's, this is a solid bar that runs all the way along here and here, which is aluminium, I think, and that's really good. Again, this is really nice that I can just literally last, um, elasticate that in there. This is where the memory cards are gonna be. Um, I've also got this pocket too, which I need to keep somewhere. So actually it fits really nicely over the drone controller. Um, and there's some cloths there and that fits in there beautifully and that at the moment has been a problem because I, it didn't really quite fit in. This bag is a lot deeper. This is a hole or uh, a space where I'm going to put the vlogging camera which you're on at the moment so the Z30 is going to go in there and then we've got the new 100 to 300, 100 to 400 just tipped in there. But this nice elasticated um, strap, there's another one there which I can just move these over which I probably will do. That should hopefully stop it falling out. And then in here, which I access from this bit here, I've got the filters. These are gonna go in the front, I think, um, but this is where I've tucked the drone. That's gonna work really well. There's also loads of space in this little compartment here for spare batteries, etc., which I carry around with me. And these filters could go in the front, or they could simply just do that, you know? It works really, really well. So, I don't know what these bits are here, I think they're supposed to stick memory cards in them, but I'm not going to because they don't feel like they're very, they're all gonna fall out. So there we go, all packed up. Um, it may change the configuration of this. One thing I would say immediately is this is a lot deeper, this bag, than the timber. Um, it does feel a lot more solid, although the timber has been brilliant, I have to say, but this has definitely done what I want it to do. It's got, it got more room. I can put my gear um, without it, without having to cram it all in. I can get everything fitted into this bag and carry it around with me. So thanks ever so much for tuning in. I'll see you next Sunday at six o'clock when I will be in North Yorkshire on the coast somewhere. Gary and I are traveling up um, next week, at the end of this week, so we'll be doing three or four days worth of photography, which I'm really looking forward to. 
got a cracking location for Tuesday morning. Somewhere, uh, all of these locations I've been to before, although Gary always has a few surprises up his sleeve. So let's see what we get up to. But tune in next Sunday at six o'clock for the first of those. If you haven't subscribed, do so, and then you can be notified when that video comes live. So until next Sunday, take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.